Hey guys, this is Dante here. Um, here's another, I know it's laid out, but here's another unbiased fire alarm reviews. I'm going to be starting from the, from the first aisle of the unbiased fire alarm reviews. So here we go. Today we're going to be looking at, at the true alert franchise of products. So I'm going to start with these two over here. This is a model number 4903-9426. It is a four wire free running true alert. And here is a 4901-9820. Excuse me, 9820 free running true alert remote horn. So it's fr they're free running if you choose it to be if you choose them to be so um so um yeah i'm going to pry the covers open and investigate the inside so now i have the covers removed now i can investigate how it works like i said these two are basically one of the not very many most user friendly true alerts that exist Reason being, for most devices, they're either smart sync or addressable. These are neither of them. So how the horn strobe works is, since it's four wire, two terminals up here come and power the horn. The other two come and power the, these. An extra pair of two wires come up here to power the horn. An extra two to come up here and power the strobe. However, you could also jump them for two wire operation if you wanted to. Whereas the horn works based off of 24 volts DC. You don't need any sort of sync protocol or um, addressable signaling to um, run it. As soon as you apply power to it, it's gonna sound, whereas the strobe and the horn on this thing, you can see there is a dip switch, a single dip switch. Basically that turns the strobe, only the strobe on this, where in, in the horn of this remote horn, as a syncable device so when you flick it down it makes it syncable so how the sync works particularly for strobes is that it charges up the strobe and it won't flash until power is cut from it and then booyah it flashes great way to synchronize all the strobes in a live pub in a public setting on a live active system in a public setting however they are not the most user friendliest if you don't have the proper SCM to run that way. So, and the same thing goes with the horn if this was on smart sync position, except that it doesn't have the strobe, so it's not gonna charge anything. It just won't sound if it's flicked. So with these devices, as long as you have the smart sync switch in the free run position, you don't get any real handicaps. This, this, these devices are the most user friendliest and um yeah but however since this is the 4901 series it is part of the um is a remote horn is the audible only since it's part of the 4901 series so i'm going to put the covers back on i'll make sure i get so and since this is a part of the 4903 series it's going to have a candela sticker or a in is fixed candela in this case it's 75 as you see Right here, it's going to either have a candela sticker, a candela writ with letters and numbers indicating the candela, or a colored shape that would indicate that would indicate the candela. So that makes it a part of this segment. So if I were to give these a score, I would give them a 100 out of 100. I don't see any handicaps with these devices, and these are the ones I recommend the most, including the 49C MTV series of True Alert multi-tone lines since those are completely conventional and user-friendly. Okay, I'm back. So here we have, now that brings us to the smart sync models. These actually have the same same body shape except these covers a little bit different. This is a weatherproof and this is the first generation being the obvious differences. Otherwise, the insides are almost identical to this but except these do the exact opposite since it is smart sync so th since this is a 4903-9417 it is a 40 it is this true alert is discontinued you can no longer buy it new whereas this one whereas the 4906 replacements are still available 
This is a 4906 9131, this weatherproof True Alert unit. So, yeah, it is, as you can see, it has two terminals which run the horn and the strobe together. So, it's two wire. But, however, it is smart sync, so it is not the user, it is, le it is less user friendly than these two. Quite frankly, when I, when I powered this up, a lot of the times, this is, this proves to be a little less user friendly than the normal indoor smart sync True Alerts. Whereas the normal indoor smart sync True Alerts, as soon as you apply power to it, strobe charges up and then and then won't and then when you cut power and, and it won't flash until you cut power from it and then it flashes once again great way to synchronize all the strobes in a live system in a public setting so but however the horn will not work based on 24 volts dc the only way to run these is either by a sync pro sync is is by the smart sync protocol whenever it's the 49, 49059938, which is the approved which or a sync control module or the or an approved um pan, simplex control panel that can run these devices. Yes. Such as the 4010. But however, I found out, but it's still not the end of the world if you don't have any of those, because you can bypass the protocol, the sync protocol, with just a conventional knack on a on any panel. As long as it puts out filter DC. Because simplex devices, most of us, but not all of us, are aware that that's bad for simplex devices. It's no wonder why you haven't seen any of these on my system test series, because my panel puts out fully rectified. So, and as you can see, if you pull this off, it is... On the 4906 True Alerts, which I'll pause this. Now I got it pulled off, so here's the Candela sticker. Actually, the, this is since this is I did mention this is multi Candela. So here are your Candela settings for this 4906 True Alert, if you'll focus it in. But FACP 15 through weatherproof 75 for the weatherproof units. But however, there's no FACP hole for it. So what you do is you line this with the corresponding holes. Excuse, oh, let me. Uh, try that again. Uh, this, this is a pain to do. Like you do right here. As you can see it's pointing at 15 right now. So here it is. It's at... F it, no, we got to press it in more. It is on 15 Candela. So I'm going to put this back. So this basically works for whatever application. So the f the best thing about the 4906 True Alerts is they work ba on any application you throw at it. So... But however, since these rely on sync protocol, uh, if I were to give this a review, I'm not going to give it a righteous score out of out of 100. I'm going to give them like a 85 out of 100 based on the user friendliness category since they rely on a sync protocol to work. But however, like I said, you can bypass the sync protocol with just any conventional panel or, or a knack. So anyways, time to move to the next section. Okay, now that I've reviewed the this section, the user friendly and the smart sync, since these are the user friendliest, and these do the exact opposite, these these five do way worse than smart sync because if you actually look, and I actually got this true alert today. This is and this is one I have mentioned on my past true alert videos, or at least some of them. This is a 4906-9207. That two in place of the one in the, is a designation for addressable. And here is a Truler ES, 49AVWRF, and the 4906-9206, which is discontinued. You can no longer get this new. And the 49SV APPLW. And we have the 4903-9459. And, and as you can see there, these dip switches are make it addressable. It has an addressable line in it. So, and you can see if, right there is an LED that tells you it's communicating with the panel every time it pulls. So, so here's a look at the 4906-9207. You got the dip switches. I'm not going to take the covers off of these because they're a pain to do, especially this one. But as you see on the original True Alerts, strobes the strobes the address switches are on the bottom somewhere right here whereas on the truler yes is they're on the back and however the reason why 
I said they do way worse than these is because thanks to the addressable versus conventional philosophy in concept of how file alarm systems work, these cannot work conventionally. When you apply just straight up 24 volts DC power, they will not work. Even if you use the smart sync, nope, not, not going to happen, not happening. So, uh, they rely. And so basically what happens is they rely on, um, a sync protocol. No, no, excuse me. Addressable signaling protocol to work it. This, uh, th that is, or at least a compatible. This only runs on IDNAC. This runs on TrueNAC. These three are cross compatible with both protocols for upgrade reasons. And that's why you should not say I need, you need a quote unquote low, you need to quote unquote, you need a high end simplex panel that will run these device address high end simplex addressable panel because that's not specific enough. So they will have, so because you got to determine what is compatible, which is compatible with which. So, um, but however, I can make some use out of this because it's a speaker strobe. I think I can make some use out of it. Uh, Illinois is a f fire alarms of Illinois or like I somewhere along those lines as YouTube, YouTube channel made some use out of his truler. Yes, speaker strobe. So but this one. The for this this truler speaker strobe it came as just a speaker strobe the quarter the cover and the mounting plate were ordered separately this truler yes whereas this one the forty nine AVWRF comes complete. Do you actually see an APPLW designation in the um, truler um, yes model number? That means it's appliance only and you have to order it separately. But what's what's awesome about it is is that it's comp surely it's more money. Surely it costs more money, but it is completely customizable for whatever application you throw at it. Same with the strobe, since on this one, this one, and this one, and this one, since they're multi-candela. And they have an FACP option, meaning that you can control the candela output by using the protocol of the panel. So, um, and I think in some smart sync truller, it's allow you to do that too. And some user friendly and the 49 CMTV series also allows you to do it. But how it, usually it's one through eight, as you can see, this one's one through eight, but however, the address on the strobe on, on this, the address settings on this truly, yes, yeah, speaker strobe is one through nine somehow. So, um, so since the but however I am going to give them a lower score because since they rely on addressable signal addressable protocols and communication and signaling in order to work properly. So I'm going to give the this 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 and this an a a uh, sixty out of a hundred on the user friendliness category. But however I'll give this a seventy out of a hundred because of the customizability. Of the of this particular truler ES yeah, speaker strobe, these also come in high fidelity variants too. But yeah, so I don't recommend any of these units, any of these five units, because like because 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 with the I only recommend the smart sync ones because um, because it, I only recommend the smart sync ones if you have an SCM or a simplex panel that controls smart sync or any panel because of the sync protocol handicapping your ability to use these. Whereas the addressable, whereas these addressable models, they will completely handicap your ability to use these. Whereas these are the ones I recommend the most, the 4901820, the 4903 4-wire true alerts, and some 4904 true alerts that are free running only, and the 49CMTV series true alert multi-tone device, electronic multi-tone horn strobes. I only recommend those the most because of their user friendliness. So, we're, because you, like I said, you don't get any handicaps. So anyways, whereas these two are, you're only handicapped by the sync protocol, but the handicap is to a, a, a lesser degree, whereas these ones are a complete handicap to your ability to use them. So these will work. Some of these will work on the Truler addressable controller. This this can only run on TrueNAC. This will only work on IDNAC. These these three are cross compatible with IDNAC and TrueNAC. 
They're cross compatible, so you can use for both. You can use these three on a Truler addressable controller if you want, but you can't use that on a Truler addressable controller. You cannot use this on a 4100 ES with an EPS or EPS plus or a 4010 ES with an ESS or enhanced system supply or a 4007 ES with ID NAC. You can't use that on that. It won't work. You can't. It will only work on the 41, 4100U and the 4100ES with the TrueAlert power supply, the TrueAlert, for, the 4009 TrueAlert power supply, remote power supply, and the TrueAlert addressable controller. That's is all it's compatible with. This, I believe, can only work with the 4100. It works on ID. Well, this only works on ID NAC, from what I read, and I don't think it'll work. It, but specific ID NAC panels like the 4100. ES with ESS and ESS plus, no, excuse me, EPS and EPS plus. I, since I did not see on the main, the reason why I say that is because I did not see compatibility for the 4007 ES and the four, um, and the, and the 4010 ES with ID NAT communication and the ESS. So, anyways, so you got to determine which is compatible by reading the documents. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching.